So I think uh, till question number uh, three we completed. Am I right, everybody? So why sound waves are called longitudinal waves? Is it that is only we have to study now? Yes. So we all know so we are having the two kinds of waves. First, you all should remember that. So transverse waves means the direction of wave and particle will be perpendicular to each other. Is it right or wrong, everybody? So it will go perpendicular to each other. That is what we used to call it as. From the main position, it will be perpendicular to each other. So what is this wave call it as? All of you, speak guys. Transverse wave. So if it comes to the longitudinal wave, so particles will move how? Parallel as well as what? Direction of wave is same direction. And particles also displaces parallel and as well as what amount? Anti-parallel. Remember everybody? Parallel and anti-parallel? No response. Writing means it will remember. Parallel and anti-parallel. So that is what you have to remember. So now, sound waves, they will, they will propagate how? To and from motion. Parallel. Parallel to the direction of propagation. Is it right or wrong? The sound, whatever the direction yes. traveling, the propagation, same way they will do the to and from motion. So that's why they are called it as a what waves? Longitudinal waves or transverse waves? Longitudinal waves. Perpendicular transverse waves. Parallel longitudinal waves. So, I mean, audible everybody, write it. What is the answer you written yesterday? I think we stopped there only. So we'll continue there. So why is sound waves call it as a longitudinal waves? Answer is what? When a sound waves travel in a medium, when a sound waves travel in a medium, when a sound waves travel in a medium, in the form of what, guys? Longitudinal means immediately two words you have to remember. Anybody can tell what word? Compression and rarefaction. Yes. Compression and rarefaction. And rarefaction. When a sound waves travel in a medium, in the form of compressions and rarefactions, in the form of compressions and rare fractions. Alfin, are you doing? I want response, Alfin. Compressions and rare fractions. Then the particles of medium vibrate. Then the particles of medium vibrate. How, oh, guys? Then the particles of medium vibrate. And then the particles of medium vibrate to and fro motion. To and fro motion. To and fro. Parallel to the direction of. Parallel to the direction of. Alpha, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a audible. Yesterday also like this only. Today also like this only. Parallel to the direction of. Propagation of sound. Propagation of sound. So that's why, hence, what we what waves we can say, guys? Parallel means. Hence, Longitude. Longitudinal waves. Hence, sound waves, sound waves are known as, are known as longitudinal waves. So two keywords you have to remember in transverse wave, particle direction and wave direction what? Perpendicular or parallel? Perpendicular to each other. And in longitudinal wave, parallel direction of propagation of sound and particle, both are parallel to each other. That is what you have to remember. Clear everybody? Sudarshan, Kishore, Sudhi, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Laksha, you don't have a number. Of... Next. Fourth question. So we studied many characteristics. You know one characteristics where loudness and pitch is same. That is what. Which characteristics of the sound helps you to identify your friend by his voice while sitting with others in a dark room? Which characteristics, guys? Without seeing them, there is a characteristics which we can identify. Pitch. Yes. 
picha super mari nothing you are remembering mari really i'm saying that's why full of enjoyment this is what will happen Quality. there is a characteristics which will help you to identify your friends yeah, without seeing them that is the last characteristics which we studied yeah. same same amplitude same frequency or loudness and pitch is remain same only the type of a wave is different that is what we used to call it as what yeah. is it called quality yeah. or we used to call it as timbre yeah. so this is the things do you remember everybody so no two devices will produce the same kind of wave their amplitude and frequency is same but the type of wave which is produced is not same so that is the waves which we used to call it as that is what will help us to identify a different uh, like a notes note i have taught you note do you remember everyone everyone that is what so that is only we used to call it as quality or timber same amplitude same frequency ma no response please leave from the meeting don't make me to remove from the meeting again this is not good okay that's what you remember when i call or you are not responding continuously don't join i will remove from the meeting at least in chat you have to respond if you are not if you don't know answer simply coming and going i am not happy and i cannot disappoint your parents next question flash and a thunder are produced simultaneously but thunder is heard a few seconds after the flash is seen why what is the reason anybody flash flash means lightning lightning actually thunder and lightning lightning is fast so so basically we all know sound is maximum in which medium sound travel faster in which medium solid solid uh, faster in solid medium but flash light will travel faster in which medium light faster in dash yeah. or without medium so that's what it is so the speed of light is greater than the speed of sound in which medium in which medium guys in air so we all know light speed in air can you tell me the value mr sanjay 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second So, what is the speed of sound in air? Anybody? Three hundred and forty-six meter per second. That is also at what temperature? Twenty-five degrees Celsius. Is it right or wrong? So that's the reason. That's the reason. Which one we can hear? Which one we can see the first? We can see the flash first, and then after few seconds we can hear the what? We can hear the. sound produced by that that is what we used to say thunder so write the answer and values also you write it is more effective the speed of light is greater than the speed of sound in air the speed of light is greater than the speed of sound in air the speed of light is greater than the speed of sound in air in air in air hence thunder is heard few seconds after the flash hence thunder is thunder is heard few seconds after the flash thunder is heard few seconds after the flash flash only we can call it as a what am i flash only we used to say light few seconds after the flash is seen is seen is seen even though even though both are produced at the even though both are produced at the same time even though both are produced at the same time <laughs> even though both are produced at the same time clear everybody till here once again read the answer everybody anything doubt ask me or else we'll proceed sir even though both are both are produced at the same time
ఆడుగుల పృథ్వీ దర్శన్ నో యూస్ నివేదన్ అండ్ ఆల్ నథింగ్ డూయింగ్ లింగేజ్ కిషోర్ సింపుల్లీ బికమింగ్ ఎవ్రీ టు ఎవ్రీబడి లైక్ డమ్ ఫెలోస్ ఈ పీపుల్ నో యూస్ అట్ ఆల్ కంప్లీట్ ఫాస్ట్లీ ఎవ్రీబడి మా గర్ల్స్ ఈజ్ లైక్ దిస్ మీన్స్ ప్లీజ్ డోంట్ జాయిన్ అమ్మ నో ప్రాబ్లం లక్ష్యన యూ డోంట్ నో ద ఫార్మేట్ ఆ సింప్లీ వై లైక్ దిస్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ రా నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ న్యూ మార్కల్ ఎవ్రీబడి సాల్వ్ హూమ్ ఎవర్ యాస్ యూ సే ఇఫ్ నాట్ రెస్పాండింగ్ యూ లీవ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మీటింగ్ ఐ విల్ రిమూవ్ ద మీటింగ్ యూ సీ దట్ నా దోస్ ఆర్ నాట్ సాల్వ్ ఇట్ నెక్స్ట్ హాసిని విల్ సే ద ఫార్ములా నా హాసిని టెల్ మీ ద ఫార్ములా ఫర్ వెలాసిటీ వేవ్ లెంత్ అండ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ రిలేషన్ టెల్ మీ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఫార్ములా సినోస్ ఐ మాస్కింగ్ యువర్ ఓన్లీ హాసిని వేవ్ లెంత్ వెలాసిటీ అండ్ స్పీడ్ ఫర్ త్రీ ఫార్ములాస్ యూ టెల్ మీ వెలాసిటీ అండ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ రిలేషన్ ప్రిన్సి బోత్ ఆఫ్ యూ ప్లీజ్ లీవ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మీటింగ్ డోంట్ మేక్ మీ టు లీవ్ సో నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ రీడ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ సెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ రీడ్ ఆ సెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ సిక్స్త్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆ సిక్స్త్ క్వశ్చన్ so it's very important question numerical you can see a person has a hearing range from 20 hz to 20 kilohz so we all knows this is only the sound between 20 hz to 20 kilohz what is that sound we used to call it as everybody we used to call it as what sounds audible sounds am i right or wrong that is the audible range of humans now what are the typical wavelengths of sound waves in air corresponding to these two frequencies take the speed of sound in air as 344 meter per second 344 meter per second means what has any wavelength is equals to v by f 344 meter per second means it is at what temperature guys 344 anybody can tell at what temperature it has been taken 344 meter per second means it is taken at what temperature 22 degrees celsius even exam temperature only will mention speed also will never mention because book already they mentioned it then you remember according to that only will give then you will understand it difficulties now prince you don't know formulas has netly saying i will i will say correct wait a person has a hearing range of 20 hz and 20 kilohz so first we have to find the wavelength of both so one frequency first frequency one so what what is the first frequency one everybody 20 hz next speed Sp what is the speed formula ra speed is equals to 344 meter per second now can you tell me what is the speed is equals to formula guys speed wavelength and frequency formula everybody wave yeah, speed is you. equals to wavelength <laughs> into frequency is it right or wrong so let me take yes, lambda 1 and v1 because we are having two frequencies same way second one tell me v v is common otherwise you want take v1 also so v2 is equals to lambda 2 into frequency 2 frequency symbol theorema so frequency 2 how much ra what is the frequency 2 20 kilohertz means 20000 hertz is it right or wrong guys yes or no so v2 v2 is same 344 meter per second so we want lambda 1 now lambda 1 is equals to v1 by frequency 1 lambda 2 is equals to v2 divided by frequency 2 so that's all you can substitute it you will get it so lambda 1 value tell me everybody 344 divided by 20 so if you have been done that how much it will come 17.2 meters this is only echo distance minimum distance for echo i hope you all remember that minimum distance for echo clear everybody that's what then lambda 2 is equals to nothing you people are doing ra always enjoying preparing for this that that nothing over studies nil that is what so next one 344 divided by 20000 solve this one how much it will come 344 divided by 20 means 
Yes, 0 0.0172 meters. That is the answer. That's all. Concerned and work has nothing studying. You know very well. That's what it says. Work out everybody. Complete this question. Anything doubt, ask me. So, on doubt, sir. Which one? Sir, can we say uh, uh, the speed is equal to distance by time also, no, sir? If they didn't give the value of uh, uh, distance, speed is equal to lambda, sir. You want one thing only, Mari. If it is a sound chapter, you cannot use distance by time. You have to use. No, sir, in the previous questions, we have used. Uh, yeah. In case of echo. In case of echo, their going and coming distance two years. Do you understand me? That's what I say. Yes, don't don't depend on rely on the normal formulas. Echo means directly. You remember. By the time speed is equals to 2s by t, no other formula s by t. Here 2s is going this going time and as well as coming time. So you fix in your mind wave speed is equals to lambda by lambda by time period, or we can say lambda into frequency, or we can say wave speed in echo case 2s by t. From that s is equals to v into t by 2. Only these three formulas you have. So you have to use any one thing for calculating the things. That's all. Clear? If it is a question yes, about sound chapter. Okay? Yes, sir. Solving only things will come, otherwise nothing will happen. Next question. Completed everybody? My do you able to solve it, everyone? Next question is also another important question. Very, very big question, numerical. There's no concept. I'm saying for an annual exam, everything will be like this only. Then only we'll experience it. I'm saying you correct. You see that. Simplicity, nothing is going to work out. Two children are at opposite ends of aluminum rod. One, one strikes the end of the rod with a stone. Find the ratio of Time takes by the sound wave in air and in aluminium to reach the second child. Tomorrow onwards, I'll make. If those who are not responding, voice speaker not working, then chart also not responding, immediately I'll remove from the meeting. That's what I'm going to do. Because I, I cannot continue with the useless fellows, those who are not doing anything. Because I cannot answer to the parents. Parents with the belief only sending. Simply acting. Simply disrespecting the parents, nothing is going to work out. So this question is a very important question. So we all know that two children are there which are sitting at the opposite end of aluminum rod. So imagine there is a big aluminum rod now. Big aluminum rod. So we all know that sound will travel faster in which medium? Everybody? Aluminium. Solid medium. So this Aluminium. is the aluminum rod. So aluminum rod. So now one friend is here. So he knocked the he knocked the uh, aluminum rod now. So sound is traveling through aluminum through air. So both it is traveling. So opposite friend is here. So definitely in which medium sound will travel faster? Everybody? Aluminium. Aluminium. So let the time taken, the speed of a sound aluminum is T1. Then in air, definitely it is T1 or T2 off. It is T2. Am I right or wrong? Yes, please respond. Everybody. All of you, yes, sir. that is what. Yes, sir. Now, T2. So, which is greater? T1 is greater or T2 is greater? Definitely, T2 is greater than T1. Will you all agree with me? Because T2 in air. Is it right or wrong? Yes. Everybody, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It takes much time, sir. Yes. So, let we don't know anything about aluminum rod. See, this is what is very important, actually. So, two children are at opposite ends of aluminum rod. One, one strikes the end of the rod with a stone. Find the ratio of the time taken by the sound wave in air and in aluminium. Nothing is given, but it is numerical, full of numerical. So, two things you have to know it. One is, speed of sound, let take the length of the aluminium rod is L. What is, the, what is that, everybody? Because we need to know distance. Am I right or wrong? Everybody? Yes, please. Let length of aluminium rod 
लेंथ ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम इज हाउ मच गाइस एल्यूमिनियम रॉड हाउ मच आई कैन टेक एल इज इट ओके गाइस यस आर नो दैट एल इज इक्वल्स टू ओनली व्हाट निवेदन व्हिच इज इक्वल्स टू डिस्टेंस यस आर नो डिस्टेंस दैट्स ऑल यस सर नाउ इट इज ट्रैवलिंग टू मीडियम्स दैट इज व्हाट एल्यूमिनियम वन एंड एयर वन सो आई अज्यूम टी वन कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज द स्पीड ऑफ साउंड स्पीड ऑफ साउंड इन एयर just now we have taken approximately how much it is 300 meter per 344 meter per second or you take 344 344 or 346 your choice 346 will take because at what temperature 25 degree celsius am i right or wrong everybody yes you are convenient no, i take it as uh, 20, uh, because, 344 because 22 degrees yes 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 because 25 degree celsius next aluminium also we have to take the same value correct 6420 do you understand mari that's the reason purema mari yes sir yeah in air 346 because one you take at 25 degrees next one also 25 degrees purema yes sir yes see that is it the values are given in the question no correct am i right yes yes sir yeah for you also same you have to learn the values no value will be given in the final exam then you will understand the difficulty because jollyly enjoying means things will changes from now onwards you see that so now what will happen aluminum speed tell me so air air speed 346 meter per second v1 all speed of light in aluminum 1 how much it is 6420 meter per second is it okay guys everybody yes sir no Yes, sir. Yes. Now, in the given question, what they are asking? Everybody, check it. In the given question, what they are asking? Find the. Find the what? Ratio. Ratio of times taken by the sound waves in air. Air first. Air and aluminium second. Clear, everybody. Ultra ratio. We have to find it. Is it okay, guys? Please respond. So that's all. Yes, so now we all know yes, speed is equals to formula. What is that? Distance by time. So now V one. Yes one. T one next V two is equals to S yes two by T two. Now we want T one. From the T one is equals to tell me T one is equals to S yes one by V one. And from this one, sir, S one, S one is the T two by no V two. Ah, distance, Mari. That is only distances. That only we can take it as L, no, sir. Ah, oh, L, L only. That's what I want to know. I want to make you clear with the formulas. Yes, sir. Okay, clear. So we all yes, know. Sir. S one is equals to S two is equals to how much? Ra, we assumed already length of aluminium. Everyone, speak, guys. L. L. That's all. So now T one. T one is what? Aluminium or uh, air? T one is the aluminium. T two is the what? Air. Okay. Air. So T one is equals to. Can you tell me what is the S one? L divided by V one six four two zero. Next. T two is equals to L divided by three forty six. Okay, everybody. So this is what T one and T two. Now they are asking what ratio of air divided by aluminium. So T one divided by T two. T two divided by T one. That's what I just said. Don't be in a hurry. Always, I want the efficiency from this moment. You don't understand that. Okay. Now finish it. Substitute T one. L divided by three forty six divided by L divided by six four two zero. Ulta it will become L divided by three forty six into six four two zero divided by L. Padma, are you doing everything? That's what it is. Yes. So six four two zero divided by three forty six. Do the division and tell me everybody. Both even numbers only. Simplify first. What table? What table you can do? Two table. So two table if you do two ones are two sevens are two threes are here two what is that two threes are two twos are two tens are so now eighteen is two fifty yeah so three two three two one zero divided by one seventy three do the division and tell me what is that ma so t two divided by yeah t two divided by t one is equal to how much will come yes eighteen Is to fifty five. Eighteen is to fifty five. How it will be? Mail or up? It will come. Check it. Yes, sir. Hmm. You are doing wrong somewhere. Check it. Three two 
थ्री टू वन जीरो डिवाइड बाई वन सेवेंटी थ्री डिवाइड इट एंड टेल मी क्लियर है डिवीजन दिस मंच टाइम ऑफ सर एटीन पॉइंट फाइव है हम्म वन सेवेंटी थ्री दैट्स ऑल सो एटीन पॉइंट फाइव है सो T2 is greater than how much time? T2 is a what? Air or aluminium? Air. Air. So I will say T2 is equals to 18.55 times of T1. Is it right or wrong? Will you all agree with me? Everybody? Yes, please. Yes, sir, sir. But they are asking yes, sir. in ratio, sir. Ratio only. This is also called ratio only, Mari. T1 by T2. T2 by T1 is equals to 18.55 divided by 1. Yes. Nothing is there means 1 you can take. Who is saying wrong? Nothing. That is yes, only happening. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, sir. 18.55 is to 1. Yes, yes. You can take. Tell me, Ma. What is your doubt? The same doubt is Mari, sir. Mm, yeah. See, ratio means we can say this is the factor. That's all. Nothing. That is ratio only we can say. Okay. Or if you are getting any fraction, any fraction here itself instead of eighteen point five five, you can do that. You can write that also. No, no, sir, no. Nothing wrong. Yes, sir. So very important question. Values also you have to learn. You will do it. Mr. Kishore, are you there in the meeting? Mr. Lingesh, no response. Nothing. Mr. Nimedan, Shivani joining after this much time. Very. That's what Shivani fully concentrating on other things. Studies become second priority. I am really very very angry. I am saying you correct. No importance for studies. No one of you are giving importance to studies. Always jollyly here and there enjoying, talking always. Okay, carry on you people like this. See that Alfin. How many times I am calling? Do tomorrow don't join Alfin. I will inform father now today. Next, make it everybody completed this question. Everybody understand, Mr. Sailay, Salda, Sanjay. You are also I am saying you. Any doubt, Mister? Mister? No doubt. Yeah. Prudhi completed. Sam. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pradhana. Darshana. Next question. Eighth question is this: The frequency, the frequency of a source of a sound is hundred hertz. How many times does it vibrate in a minute? They are asking. So basically, frequency for frequency means what, guys? Anybody can tell me the definition. Frequency means what do you mean by the frequency, please? Frequency means what? Second. Number of vibrations per how many seconds? One second. One second. One second. That's it. Number of vibrations. Number of vibrations in one second is call one it second. as a what? Frequency. frequency. Now. Here they mentioned the frequency of a source of sound is hundred hertz. Means number of vibrations in one second is equals to how many? How many? Hundred. Is it right or wrong? For one second it is making hundred vibrations. Now how many? How many times does it vibrate in a minute? Minute means how many seconds, guys? Sixty. Sixty seconds. Now one second hundred means then sixty seconds means what? Sixty into hundred, which is equals to how much? Six thousand. That's all. Six thousand times. Six thousand vibrations. That's all. Clear? So the source will vibrate how many times, everybody? Six thousand times in a how many minutes? In a minute. In a one minute of time, it will be vibrating six thousand times. That's what you are trying to do. Okay, everybody. Yes. Yes, sir. Next, does the sound follows the same laws of reflections as light does? Explain. Yes or no? It will follow yes, or no? Yes, we studied yes, reflection of sound. So you have to write that entire concept. What is there in the book? Next, tenth question. When a sound is reflected from a distant object, read very carefully. When a sound is reflected from a distant object, that is call it as. By this time, mind should say, what is the concept behind? Everybody. Yes, please. Echo. 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 E C H O. Echo. 
and echo is produced. Let the distance between the reflecting surface and the source of sound uh, production remains the same. Do you hear the echo sound on a hotter day? Hotter. Hotter. Hotter means what? Temperature rises. Colder day and hotter day. So that's what they are asking. So can you tell me? Yes, please. So if you observe the temperature range, for this one, more generalistic question. At 0 degree Celsius, at 22 degree Celsius, at 25 degree Celsius. Can you tell me what is the? Yes, that is what Padma. Very good. She observed the things. So can you tell me three things? At 0 degree Celsius, what is the speed of sound in air? Yes, please. All of you? What is the speed of sound at 0 degree Celsius? 331 meter per second. At 25, 22 degree Celsius, 344 meter per second. At 25 degree Celsius, 346 meter per second. That is what. So can you tell me what is the echo formula? Echo formula, please. Echo formula, wave speed is equals to 2s by t. Now time t is equals to 2s by v. Is it right or wrong, everybody? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yes. So now, if you have noticed it here, that they are saying that the distance between the reflecting surface and the surface of sound production remains the same. Distance same only. But now you see that. Speed of sound and time. Have you checked it, everybody? Both are temperature increases. So hotter day, V increases or decreases. Sir. Temperature increasing. The velocity increasing or decreasing? Velocity increasing. Velocity increasing, but distance remains same or varies? They are saying distance remains what? Same. Varies. Faster. But what about the T? Velocity and T are both are what? Directly proportional or inversely proportional? Directly. Directly, sir. Directly, where directly, Mari? Velocity and time is directly distance. proportional. Distance and... Distance not, velocity and time, velocity and time. Velocity and time. Directly proportional or inversely proportional? Inversely proportional. Inversely proportional. So, yes. S will be remain same and T will decrease. T will decrease. Is it right or wrong? Everybody? Yes, please. Okay, sir. Yes. So, velocity increases, time will decreases. So, definitely, echo will be here or not. Both are directly proportional means not will be here. Both are inversely proportional. So definitely time echo will be echo will be what echo will be heard okay so do it next give two practical applications of reflection of sound waves only two are. How many practical applications? You all know. Am I right, everybody? Many applications yes, we are having. So any two they are asking. So you can write it. Whatever you know. Stethoscope, horn, loudspeakers. These all are the examples of what? Reflections only. Is it right or wrong? Everybody? Yes? So please write it. That is what. Next numerical. Twelfth question. Again, very important question. So this is related to integration with the motion chapter. That is what equations of motion. A stone is dropped from the top of a water, top of a tower 500 meters high into a pond of water at the base of the tower. When, when is the splash heard to the top? Give G value is 10 power meter per second square and the speed of sound is 3 power really? meter per second. Already we have solved this question. Do yes, you sir, we have solved this question. Yes, yes. We have already solved this question. Please kindly verify it. Answer is how much, Ra? Check your notebooks and tell me. Only not reaching time. Only not reaching time. After that, we have to take it what? Stone is reaching the water and it is producing the splash. Means waves. Disturbance is producing. 2.95 seconds. No, Mari. Check it once. 11.47 seconds. Yeah, similar sum we have solved. Similar sum. And after that, sound alone will travel back to the person. So that sound, we have to add it. Is it right? 
everybody yes sir yeah so that is what you have to do it but of course we'll solve once again so you can make it a stone is dropped from the top of a tower 500 meters high into a pond of water at the base of the tower start solving now everybody so what is the first formula which equation we'll use it guys distance we know initial velocity 3d falling so what is the initial velocity zero freely falling means initial velocity is what zero zero, zero. okay so that's what you have to remember so which equation we have to use it s equals to ut plus half at square jr knows s is equals to 500 meters initial velocity is zero acceleration that is what g is equals to 10 meter per second square so we'll get it 500 is equals to ut initial velocity zero plus half into g value is 10 into t square so now two ones are two fives are so 5t square is equals to 500 t square is equals to 100 t square t is equals to root over 100 which is equals to how many seconds ra t is equals to how many seconds t is equals to how many seconds 10 seconds. 10 seconds that is only reaching time is it right nivedan the the stone will reach the uh, water in how many seconds everybody in how many seconds. seconds 10 seconds now from there sound will travel back to the boy at what speed sound is traveling again traveling distance is 500 meters what is the speed it is traveling they have given everybody Yes, please. 340, 340 meter, per meter per second. So that is what, let me take it is a T dash. So T dash is equals to distance by speed, reverse time. Distance is 500 meters, speed is 340 meters. Solve this one, everybody. Uh, two table, correct? Two, uh, two ones are, two, two, uh, two sevens are. Next, two twenty fives are. So 25 by 17, everybody solve it. 20 by 17, which is equals to how much, guys? One point, one point four seven seconds. So if you add ten seconds plus one point four seven, how much Padma? Total answer we got it. Eleven point four seven. Four seven. The same question we have solved already. Is it right, everybody? Very very important question. Remember, really it's 